Okay, so we're going to go back and look at M and NaO. In the case of M, we have ClO3 minus, like before, Cl is going to be the center atom. So we have three O's to deal with. As always, draw the little line sharing two electrons. Then we go back and make sure that the oxygen are okay and they have eight electrons. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one is eight. Same thing here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But doing that, now the oxygen are going to be negatively charged because they have extra electron. So we put negative charge on each corner. Now, this is a ClO3, one minus. Now we have three minus. So the Cl has to be two plus. Has to be two plus means lost two electron to cancel these two and would be left with one negative. Now, if you look at it, chlorine has three electrons. Lost two is five. So we have two electrons left. So let's count it again. One, two, three, four, five. Should have seven. So it's two plus. Now, again, has too many charges. So typically, we like to have a looser structure that doesn't have as many charges. So in theory, we can have a double bond between the oxygen and chlorine here. And same thing here, because remember, chlorine is not on the second row. So the new structure we can draw would be a double bond O, double bond O here, and a single bond O here. Again, doesn't matter where you put the single bond O, because this is a resonance structure. So this we have six. So everybody's now happy. Chlorine has more than eight, but that's okay. And there is only one negative charge on the oxygen. The other two oxygen do not have any charge because you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's the structure for ClO3 minus. The next one we're going to ask us to look at it is H. So in H, we're looking at, let me put my paper here, correct it a little bit. Hmm. Sort of okay. So we have, we have NO2 Cl, so then NO2 Cl, so this would be, is that correct? Yes, H, right. I was checking my notes here. NO2 Cl, sorry, it's an N, no, it's not N. So N, we have a nitrogen. We have a nitrogen as a center atom. So we put that in. Then we have a Cl and an O and an O. So then we connect them together again. So we connect them together. Now Cl typically has seven electrons, right? And then share with with the chlorine. So CL is good. CL is happy. Has eight electrons. Sorry, the paper is moving around. Then we make the oxygen happy by putting six here, seven and eight. Six here, seven and eight. Now at this point, because they have an extra electron, those two oxygen are going to be negatively charged. So we have NO2Cl, no charge, right? We have two negative. We have two negative. So we can, we have to put a two plus on the nitrogen. Nitrogen has typically five, so we count one, two, three, last two, four, five. So that's good. But now we would like to have a double bond to make this less charges. Cl doesn't have any charge, so we leave that alone. We leave that alone. 
If you I make a double bond between this O and nitrogen, so now what we're we going to have? So what we're we going to have now we're we going to have a little bit newer structure. So we're going to have a nitrogen. See if it clears up. It didn't clear up. I don't know. I guess because I have it here. Put my hand on it. Okay. So we have a nitrogen. We said we're going to have a double bond to O, single bond to Cl, and a single bond to O here. So this O is negative, formal charge. Nitrogen now is going to be positive because it has one, two, three, four, should have had five. So it's positive, but it does have eight electrons. Has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is happy. So this would be a structure for NO2Cl neutral. NO2Cl neutral. The last one is H3PO3. So I put a new paper here. H3 is it H3? Yes, H3PO3. So phosphorus would be the center atom. Now this is an acid. So we have OH and an OH. Remember, we have to remember the acid. So I put a P in the center. We have two OHs. And it doesn't matter where you put it. O's are happy already because they have eight electrons. So we look at the last O, so we put an O here. So we have, oh. So we already have an H. So we have it, another H. So this would be an H, another H. I did forget. So this phosphorus acid has three OHs. I did forget. So we put the oxygen here. So it looks like everything is okay. So we go look at the phosphorus. So phosphorus has five electrons. So we have used three of them. We have two left. So this would be phosphorus acid. And I did forget the third OH. It does have three OHs as the acid. 